Hello students. We are back with the session of business laws for the BBA fifth semester. So far we have discussed the different essentials like proposal, the acceptance, competency of the parties. These are the essentials for the valid contract. Now we will move to another essential that is consideration. So consideration is another important here essential. See how the jurists have mainly framed the terminologies. Now saying consideration it is not sufficient. So a prefix word has to be used. That is lawful consideration. So it should be called as lawful consideration. The consideration must be permitted by the law. Now, previously I had given you a lot of examples like this. For example, A hires B to kill C for 2 lakhs. So the consideration moving is unlawful here. Taking the life of another person and for that giving the money is here unlawful consideration is moving. It is not permitted by law. So the consideration must not be here unlawful. It should be lawful, legally it should be permitted. So this is why jurists have added this word lawful consideration. Don't only say it as consideration, it will be lawful consideration. So in a contract always there must be consideration moving to both the parties. In other words, both the parties must get something in return for the promise they have made or they have entered into a contractual relation here both the parties must get something in return so that is the law that has been laid down or that is the legal rule both the parties must get something see the word they are used is something they are not here maybe saying that the consideration must be adequate so but something there must be here in return to both the parties it may be in the form of the yeah, money or it may take in the form of the service. It may be in the form of the service also. That is also a consideration. It may be you are taking any form but both the parties must get something in return here yeah, for the promise they are making or entering into a contractual relations there. So, the word consideration means something in return. For example, now you take an example. A agrees to sell his motorbike for 20,000 rupees to B. And B agrees to purchase A's motorbike for 20,000 rupees. Contractual obligation is there. Now think over the 20 year what A has promised that he is going to deliver his motorbike. He is going to sell his motorbike. So that is the promise he has made to whom? B. So in return for this promise what is getting the consideration? It is the value of that here the motorbike he is getting that is 20,000 rupees from B. And B is paying 20,000 rupees for that what is the consideration? The here consideration is the vehicle. The motorbike is getting here for the 20,000. So the consideration is moving here. So consideration, it may, as I told you, it may take in the form of your goods, money, anything. Even a service. Here a service can be there. For example, A takes the tuition from B and pays him here a certain amount. So A has paid the amount to B here but in return what he has got? He has got the knowledge. He has got that education. So education, knowledge, imparting of the knowledge that is also in form of a service. That is also consideration. And what B has got for he has given the knowledge to A in return he has got that remuneration that is the fees. So that is what here, don't be under the impression that the 
Here, consideration must be in the form of money. No, it is not so. It may take any form. So, consideration may take any form, but in a contractual obligation, there must be here consideration. It is called as the nucleus of the contract. Without consideration, there cannot be contract. So, there is a doctrine in uh, mainly the law which states no consideration, no contract. Without consideration, you cannot make a contract, but uh, there are exceptions to it. There are certain exceptions to it, so which we are going to study, and that is the main question from your examination point of view. So, from your main examination, they will ask you here. Yeah, no consideration, no contract. State the exceptions. Five marks question it is. For that, you have to make the preparation. Sometimes for two marks, you may get what you mean by consideration. Now, here this is in general, I gave you what is consideration. Now, how it is here defined in the act. That is the next thing what we have to see. How the definition has come. If you look at the definition, it's a very long definition. So it is uh, not advisable here to buy at this. Nor you should remember each and every word. If you understand the meaning of uh, the definition, put it in your own words. Put it in your own words uh, here, this definition. See, this is uh, the long definition what we have got uh, of a uh, consideration. So, section 2D of Indian Contract Act. Section 2D, it has given the definition of the consideration. The word consideration is defined in this section, section 2 clause D. So, what does the consideration mean? So, try to understand each here mainly aspect because later we are framing the rules of the consideration. So, based on this only you can frame the rules. The first thing when at the desire of the promisor, when at the desire of the promisor, this is the first one. So the consideration must move at the desire of the promisor. Now, in the previous example I gave you, A here makes a proposal to B to sell his motorbike for twenty thousand rupees. So from whom the consideration is moving here? The consideration is moving here from A at the desire. He is showing his willingness that I am going to sell my vehicle for 20,000 rupees. It is moving at the desire. And uh, here, mainly for that, here the acceptance that comes from B, that is moving also from him. So he agrees to pay. He may agree for that or he may make a new proposal that what we call it as counter offer and then A must agree for that and then contractual. So, here it is at the desire of the promisor it must move. Here, or the promisee or any other person. So, it may move from here the promisee also and or any other person. So, we are going to study, when we study the rules here, the promise or any other person what I have mentioned here. Here, this I am going to discuss where we have got one decided case. The name of the case is the Chinnaya versus Ramaya case. A very interesting case of this here, where mainly the party here to whom the here, consideration is moving, though he is a stranger to the consideration, but he is not a stranger to the contract there. So, if he is a stranger to the consideration, here the law will consider it and if he is a stranger to the contract, he, he cannot here maybe claim that. So, here in this case, Chinaya versus Ramaya, we will be discussing here this concept. So, very interesting aspect and a very interesting case is that. So, what is the first one we are saying? When at the desire of the promisor, this is the first aspect, this is the first element. The promisee or any other person, the promisee or any other person has done or abstained from doing. So, from has done or abstained from doing. The promisee or any other person has done or abstained. That is, has done or abstained from doing. 
the abstained from doing has done. Now, for example, that is uh, the same example that you can uh, take here. A here has made a proposal to BM about his vehicle to sell at twenty thousand. B accepts it and his he has maybe done it. So that is what maybe has abstained here done or abstained from doing or does or abstains from doing. Does or abstains from doing. That is here in the present aspect. Or promises to do or to abstain from. Or abstain from doing. Promises to do. That is a future. So the consideration may be past, may be present, may be future. So these wordings, just if you see the wordings here. It really shows that it may be here the fourth one, this is the fifth concept, this is the sixth concept. It shows that consideration may be past. It may take here that the past nature. The consideration might have already been past. Or it may be presently done. Or here it may be done in future. So the consideration may be past, may be present, or may be future. That is what you understand from this. That is a here something such act or abstinence or promise is called as a consideration for the promise. That is a here if the promisee or any other person does or maybe here has done, does or promises to do here. It may be past, it may be present or it may be future. Here such an act is called as a consideration. It is a consideration that is there. So this is the definition, a very longer definition is there. Students, you need not remember this definition. The definition is not a here mainly to be remembered here by hearted and recited in the, the question your answer step there. So you need not, you should mainly by heart it and write it here word by word, it is not necessary. Just try to understand the here summary of this definition. Just try to understand the meaning of this definition. Then easily you can write on your own words the definition of a consideration. So this is what is expected from you. Because what the examiner wants to know is that whether you have understood that term consideration or not. This is what he wants to know then. So consideration here as I told you it may take any form. The consideration might have already been moved. The consideration is here mainly presently moved. Or yeah, there is a promise to move it later. So it may be past, it may be present or it may be future. It may take any nature. But one thing to be remembered, there must be something in return for the both. There is something in return. For example, you hear the adequacy is not a matter in a consideration. Now for example, A is selling his motorbike which is 20,000 worth to 2,000 to B. The law will not question it. The law is not questioning it. It is your and will and wish to sell it to 2,000 or 20,000 to 25,000 it is left to you. You may sell it at more, you may sell it at less here or you may sell it to the same price what is there. That is different. The law doesn't matter about this. Adequacy is not important. Adequacy is not important here, but something in return both the parties must have. It must be something. Something in return here, the promisor must also get something in return for the promise he has done, and the promise he also must get something in return for his execution of the promise. Both must be benefited. But as I told you, there are exceptions to this which we are going to consider. So even if there is a no consideration also, there is a 
there are no consideration between uh, the other parties. In spite of that, uh, law imposes uh, certain duties. The law imposes certain obligations. So that is what we are going to discuss uh, here later. That is no consideration, no contract uh, exceptions. That uh, exceptions we are going to study. But at the very under here beginning, you try to understand what are these uh, mainly the here are points that you have to write uh, when there is a question. What is meant by consideration or defined consideration? Just be brief and uh, try to here get the here summary of this definition and put it in your own words in the examination. Now, based on this, here the next here the point we are going to discuss is about uh, the rules of the consideration. What are the different rules laid down in the law here for the consideration? So this is the next aspect which we are going to discuss. This will be mainly here as I told you in your examination there may be here 5 marks question. So in consideration you have got two 5 marks questions. One is state the rules of the consideration or what are the different rules of the consideration this may be one five marks question so there are hardly five important rules if you write one one rule you will be getting one mark but one thing you have to give the examples and the second five mark question is no consideration no contract and that is the exceptions five exceptions are there again carrying one mark so both are for five marks question here this rules and the here exceptions we are going to study in uh, two more classes so here today we have discussed about here the definition of the consideration meaning of the consideration and the nature of the consideration so keeping this here in our next session we will start with the rules of the consideration thank you